Well, it's time to indeed take a look at the, um, the elite Baba side season in Lagos. Well, let me start with uh, Madwe Kionyebuchi, who is the president. Well, um, let's go straight to the business of the day. And... Um Everyone has been talking about the elite father side season, the 2023 season. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look at the importance of having this type of league okay. in Lagos. Um, elite father side league comes out comes up every um, October of the year, and is the time that we showcase what we've learned because we are lovers of football. This is the time we showcase what we've, what we've, we've learned from the beginning of the year to towards the end of the year. And the time we also showcase our businesses because mm -hmm. most of us are big, Retired, okay. big, big business owners. Mm -hmm. And the elite five aside is comprised of civil servants, S players, and business owners. Thank you. Okay, interesting. Well, elite five aside, I'm bringing. Um, those who are active and also retired together to indeed um, have um, a social life. How important is this? We've seen people um, not being able to make a balance from their active days and then when they retire, um, it's difficult to fall back or mix up uh, with some of um, the great moments while they are working. Um, how does elite father side shape you know, um, people of this nature together. Okay, um, having um, this uh, elite father side, we are we gather to do all of these things. Uh, it has given everybody that has aligned with elite the opportunity to come together through the inflated round letter, both active and inactive footballers at the moment. Okay. Those that have played professionally before are there. Those ones who never had the opportunity to play professionally are there. Those ones who play for leisure are there. Yeah. And in all of this, we we'll exercise our body, we we'll bring a whole lot of minds together, and we we'll put ourselves individually in so many ways. Oh, okay. In, 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 indeed, it's interesting. We'll be joining Sam Soje um, shortly. Um, Soje, um, a retired footballer, and uh, we'll be talking about life after football with Sam Soje. But quickly, um, let, let, let me come to you. Um, in the process of all this, we've also seen, you know, um, current players yeah. come around yeah. um, to also um, show support for the elite um, father side league in Lagos. Um, how important is this? Why do you do this? Why do you bring we, up these players? We, we, we've put a lot of effort in building our team that if anybody comes back as a player, current player, always want to visit. Mm. And we also involve uh, ex-players that have the love for the games. Because before you could join the Elite Fafa side, you must have love for the game. Mm. Without having love for the game, you won't be part of us. Mm. So people always come when they come back. The last time we had um, Chukweze. Samuel Chukweze, yes, who Samuel plays Chukweze. in Isimilan? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, we had him last time. The other time was um, Ihanacho. Kelechi Ihanacho, who plays yes. so in Leicester City. They always visit once they come back. Okay, yes. interesting. Wow, well, Samuel Chukweze, um, indeed, um, um, getting uh, to indeed, um, uh, see what the elite five-a-side season um, uh, is like. Well, I'm being joined by Sam Soje. Um, like I will always introduce him, Super Sam. He played at the Altons, home ground of West Bromish Albion. He played at Elland Road, uh, that's home ground of Leeds United. Um, Super Sam Soldier, it's nice to have you on the program Sports Desk. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you. Well, well, Super Sam, we're actually taking a look at the um, elite father side football in uh, Nigeria. And um, we'll also be discussing the issue of um, Eden Hazard with you shortly. But let's start with elite father side. Uh, this is a tournament that brings together Nigerians from different walks of life most especially those who have also retired. Um, but for you as a former professional footballer, uh, most times you keep talking about life after football. How easy is it uh, to indeed move from one phase of life to another? Um, in essence, I'm trying to ask you personally, um, how did you transit from a professional footballer to indeed um, the other phase where you are today? 
Oh yeah, it's a, it's a very hard place. It's a hard place to um, to start from. Um, you know, you have to be be a, a, a professional uh, footballer to understand where I'm coming from. Uh, a fan will never understand because they all they think is about the money, you know, the uh, the fame, and and we should be proud that um, we are retiring. But it's more than that. It's more than that. It's a very hard place uh, to, to leave football and go anywhere else. But don't forget, we started playing football when we were 14 years old, so we, we know nothing else. For football, um, but my advice to everyone is um, football will always come to an end. So you have to make sure that uh, you're you prepared, have the right people around you, and then uh, yeah, you, you, you retire. But but uh, you know, uh, education is key as well. But you need to. Uh, no one tells you when to when to retire. Your body tells you, and when you retire, you have to be very realistic about what you want to do. Uh, it's, a, it's a very hard place to be. It's a difficult uh, life. Let's uh, uh, football. Well, today, um, and I'm in the studio, um, to my right, I have Madweke Onyebuchi, who is the president, a late father side, and um, indeed to my left, uh, I have Charles, uh, who is the vice president, a late father side, and um, the gospel they are preaching is the fact that um, they are trying to bring uh, everyone under one umbrella. Um, even if you're active today, um, you can't be a part of uh, the elite father side league, and... Um, even when you are retired, um, you can't be a part so that um, it will not be difficult to transit from that phase of life as um, an active member in whatsoever field you are to that of um, uh, um, socializing with um, other persons. And um, Super Sam, um, taking a look at um, what you've been able to do with life after football, um, what are the experiences you would like to share with us? Oh, um, you have to get right around you. You have to uh, be realistic and, uh, and make sure you, it is, you know football is finished, you know, you, you, uh, mentally. And sometimes it's not about the money. Mm -hmm. like what the gentlemen are doing at the moment, we, 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 we love that. You know, even when I was 70 years old, I was still pulling my boots and trying to play. You know, um, but uh, it's not the same. The body is not the same. Uh, your mind might think you're, you're young or you can do it, but the body is not the same. Um, but yeah, I, I do nurture lots of uh, ex-players. Um, upcoming players to, to prepare for life after sport. And we will always play football, even when we're 90 years old, we'll still try to play. And that's where the, the world elite comes in, uh, to, to, to try and play. But um, it, it, it won't be competitive, it'll be more of a joy. But my advice to every um, ex-player out there, uh, the ones that are retired will tell you, it's not about money sometimes, it's mental. Uh, you know, uh, we believe in mental states. Uh, just, just, just imagine you being that, that superstar, and, and coming down to be not nobody, but but is is different. So few people might understand, few might not understand. So that's where we come in. We try and help uh, ex players to, to realize that football, it's okay to retire. It's okay to be an ex, ex professional, but you have to look for something that, that interests you because you cannot just give up and just not do anything. You have to find something that really interests you that will get out of bed to be able to carry on your life because it's a very tough place. But yeah, gentlemen, I, and you'll see at the moment they help us. You know, uh, the, 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 the girls involved, like yourself, always talking to me. Um, and that is life. You know, that's the life we live now. And that's what we try and um, educate people now, that life after football is a very tough place to be. Well, so let, let, let me put this to you. Do you have any regrets that while you were playing football, there were certain things you should have done or probably some person should have advised you to make some decisions better that then you probably realize after playing football? Well, it's a live situation. We will indeed get across to Sam Soje. I'm a former player. Well, I understand that Sam Soje is back there. Um, Soje, if you get my question, um, I will repeat myself. And I ask, um, do you have any regrets that there were some decisions you did not take while you were active playing football? And then um, today, you wish you had mentors to advise you on them um, such while you were active. Oh, no, no. I think um, I, I did what I had to do. Um, I, I was a typical footballer. Uh, the only regret was uh, I, I got injured, and, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. You're always going to be a footballer, regardless of what you think. But, but I have yet now to advise, you know, ex, you know players that are saying now to always make sure they get the right people around them, because um, you, you need to get uh, the right people, even though you struggle. But to answer your question, I've got no regrets at all. 
Um, the last four years of my career was really hard because I had uh, a knee injury, a cartilage injury, so I didn't enjoy football. The only thing I miss now is the dressing room, but missing play. Well, Sam Soldier there, we will try to establish contact. But let me come to the studio. Now, we are with Onye Bucci at this point in time. Onye Bucci, let's take a look at uh, the Elite Father side season. Um, how many teams are participating this year in the league? We normally have for, for um, we divide our, our club into four, four teams. Yeah. Four teams. Yeah. And um, name, name, name them. Uh, Bowman. Bowman. Aku. Aku. FC. FC. Um, and um, what is what is it called? Um, you have Bowman, you have Bowman, uh, Aco FC, FC um, Valgold. Valgold, okay. And, um, and Swiss, um, Park. Swiss Park. Swiss Park. Swiss, yeah. Swiss Park. Now let, let, let's take a look at um, what the season has been like so far. Uh, what do you make of um, the 2023 season? The last time out, um, the Elite Five Aside team um, were in Rwanda um, to indeed have played the Rwanda. Um, elite father side team, but um, let's take a look at the season so far. What to expect? Yeah, at the moment, um, all our attention and concentration is on the league that we started so far, the in house league that we're playing. So we'll have a whole lot of other participations and programs in the international level, even at the local level, beyond what we have within here. But at the moment, we choose to focus on the league now, and it's just begun. Very exciting, and every team in the highest spirit hoping to be crowned the victors or the champions at the end. And how it is now, after this moment, we'll now focus on a whole lot of other invitations we've had, both within the country and beyond. We had one that was supposed to go to in Portugal earlier in the year, but due to some other issues, issues it's, um, we suspended that at the moment. Exactly. Okay, um, before we call it a day on the show, because um, time is it our friend, um, let's um, look forward to... Um, Persons who want to bring, uh, want to be a part of this. Um, like um, Sam Soldier said, um, retirement is key. And that's what they say. If you know what being retired feels like, you plan your life differently. But yet today, there is an elite league that has footballers, retired footballers, civil servants, and all that in the city of Lagos. And what um, do you have to say to people who want to be a part of um, the Elite Fava side team in Lagos or league in Lagos? The only thing you have to know about Elite Fava side is Elite Fava side is where good football is being played. We are very careful with our selections. Before you get involved into Elite Fava side, you must be playing good football. Good football. I, I must tell you that- Do you play good football? Yes. <laughs> I, must tell you, <laughs> I must tell you that since inception, we've not lost a match. You've not lost a match? Yes, for three years. For three years, you've not yes. lost a match? Yes, yes. Elite Fafas I have not lost a match. I've not lost a match, yes. even on the international yes. scene? Yes. Oh, interesting. The best you could get from Elite Fafas side is a draw. Is a draw? Yes. And uh, who's the, the oldest age in Elite Fafas side? We have uh, people of 50. 50. Yeah, 50, 51. We have 50, like 51. five persons that are Five 50. persons. Yeah. Well, is your mama? Do you play good football? I'll say no. Of course, sure, I do. Oh, interested. Yeah. Interested. Okay, is your mama is the vice president. Which team do you play for? I play for Tim Bowman. Tim Bowman. And at the moment, which team is topping? Uh, it should be my team. It should be your team? Yes. Interesting. Number one by Swiss Park. Swiss Park. Okay. Well, that's um, interesting. Um, life after football, Sam Soje. I must say very big thank you for being a part of the show. But for Elite Father Side League in Lagos, it brings everyone from different walks of life together and also bringing that social bonding to those who are retired and indeed love the game passionately. I must say very big thank you. Charles Iziamama. The Vice President, and Let's Have a Side League in Nigeria, and I'm also Yibuchi, the President, and Let's Have a Side League in Nigeria. I must say very big thank you for being a part of the show. Well